Hello friends, this is Arun and welcome to my channel of Arun's Creation. So I'm in the Lightroom 5 and develop module. If you press I on the keyboard, then you will get the information for your photo. Like this is the name of the image image 0335.cr2 means this is raw image and uh, 1 by 30 second this is the setting for shutter speed and uh, moreover f22 it's the aperture and iso i used 200 here because the low light the light was very low so uh, these are the setting for my this photograph and i have used this tokina 80x 24 pro dx 12 24 millimeter lens so this is about the lens as well as the photo settings press i again on the keyboard then you will get uh, hidden of these values okay now uh, i have already told you uh, the starting point may be any for your photo so firstly uh, i love to start from lens correction firstly i will correct it by lens correction because uh, there may be a chromatic apparition uh, due to the quality of the lens so that i always prefer to do the lens correction from my starting point so uh, this shot is taken in the morning so I want uh, some more red screen for this colors for this image so firstly I will try this auto okay it's not working and I will directly go to shade in shade we got very reddish tone now I don't want to control the highlights highlights already looking very nice if I put this then we will get very very foggy shining image and even I want to improve the shadows because I want to make it under uh, shadows under expose because I want more contrast so directly from these two values I got contrast as as the image has been improved a lot so this is before and after see okay uh, clarity I don't want and white blacks I will try later firstly I will boost uh, this vibrance okay now mm, from the upper part of this image it is not very strong so for this uh, to make it more foggy so I have a technique like if you reduce the value of clarity then you get very smooth fog on the image so I don't want on the all photo of this clarity so I will apply a gradient filter from top to bottom so in this part I want uh, this foggy look more foggy look so choose this graduated filter then you will get all the settings here uh, I will make a filter here mm. so clarity see this it is making more smooth and sharpness little bit of sharpness I want to increase so that we can maintain the sharpness of the image okay now this is before after before after mm, now I will check further settings that we want uh, yes I want to remove the noise reduction because it is low light image uh, the secret to reduce this noise firstly you have to make it zoom one by one ratio so even you can see now the noise level on the image I don't want to uh, reduce more uh, like 5 is sufficient for this image and it depends on the image quality and which format you are using and sharpness yes I want to increase the sharpness mm. Okay, so check this before and after, before and after. I will try this vignetting whether it is looking nice or not. Yes, it is working, and I want uh, minus four, it's sufficient for this image. Uh, I will check all the settings. Uh, I will go directly to the orange and I will try to do more things like I will play with the luminance so that 
no this is fine and again try this orange so I will go to this uh, white little bit of white about uh, 12 you can see okay I don't want to increase this contrast see if I increase the contrast the mood is not travelable the real the real mood is capturing at the zero contrast so if you want to check before and after this is before and after if you press uh, backslash on the keyboard this is before and this is after then you will get the before and after preview and even if we have this button side by side so this is before and this is after so thank you friends keep watching our inscription and keep in touch with us on facebook youtube as well as google plus